Welcome back one and all to Fire Emblem Three Houses. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time we did another paralogue helping Felix's father out. This time we're doing some exploring, getting some inspiration up, and we have support conversations. He's always with that man from Dusker. How strange. I'll bet he used some dirty tricks to gain his favor. That's how those scoundrels from Dusker operate. What a pleasant conversation you seem to be having. May I join? Please, continue. Oh, um, your highness. I was just... I said continue. I... I... I'm sorry, your highness. Such foolishness runs rampant. I fear it is the reality of Fargus for now. It must appear strange to them to see me always in your <clears throat> company. Does it bother you to do? Of course not. However... Let me guess. You take exception to the gossip that you use dirty tricks to obtain your position. Is that it? That does perturb me, but not for my own sake. I am concerned about your highness's reputation. We're not talking about my feelings, but yours. As far as I'm concerned, those fools can talk nonsense until their tongues fall out. I am afraid I cannot agree. But if you were not concerned for your honor in this instance, then why did you intervene? Because it is my duty to do so. The day my father was killed, I saw the swine who did it. They were not of Dusker. I saw that, knew it beyond a doubt, and yet I was unable to prevent the massacre that followed. Nor could I clear away the dishonor of regicide that has unjustly clung to you and your people. I will not rest until I make up for that. I owe mm. you. Just as I owe the spirits of those I let die. I do consider Fargus to be abhorrent. But you are an exception. You offered me your hand, and pulled me out from an abyss of suffering and death. You risked your life to save a foreigner you had never met. The moment you extended your hand, I decided that only for your sake would I live the remainder of my life and I would cast it aside in an instant if my death were to your benefit. For that reason, I cannot consider myself your friend. There are still many in the kingdom who despise the people of Dusker. It would be selfish of me to stand by your side as an equal. To do. Your Highness? Do you really believe I care one bit about the chatter of the ignorant? Of course not. Please forgive my impudence. I understand the intention of your words. Still, they grieve me. If you wish it so, you may continue to think of yourself as my vassal. I clearly cannot stop you. We need not be anything more or anything less. If that is what you wish to do, so be it. <sighs> your Highness. Well, that's interesting. Dimitri and Ash. Your Highness, sorry, I mean, Dimitri, would you, um, do you want to train together today? Ash, of course, I'm glad you asked. After classes conclude for the day, meet me at the training ground. I'll be waiting. And afterward, let's plan on dinner. We'll certainly have worked up an appetite. Oh, yes, I suppose, uh, I mean, sure, it'd be, that is, uh, it would be my pleasure to, uh, to dine with you? I mean, I, I uh, um... Ash. I'm sorry, Your Highness. I'm just no good at this. I'll do my best to improve. Are you still worrying over what I said to you before? I'm trying to do as you asked, but it's just completely against my nature. Trust me, I understand the urge to show respect where it is due. However, that is not the case here. Yes, I was brought up in a different family and raised in a different way, but otherwise, you and I are the same. That all makes sense, Your Highness. But I just can't bring myself to speak to you in such a casual way. Sure, when you get right down to it, royalty like you and common folk like me, we're all just people. But the common folk still rely on the nobility to keep the peace and to keep them safe. Commoners pay the price for that in taxes and respect. That's what Lenato says. 
I suppose I can understand that point of view. Said. But the flaw in logic said. is that I am not king just yet. But that's not all there is to it. Hmm? I also respect you as a person. You carry the weight of the whole kingdom on your shoulders. You're a faultless warrior, and you're always so kind to your allies, even me. On all accounts, I can say the same of you. But you also have a strong heart. I can't say that about myself. No matter the circumstance, you are never drawn toward darkness. That mindset of yours has done me well on countless occasions. Well, I... I do my best. So I guess... Mutual respect between us is what's really the most appropriate. Precisely. Which means there's never any need to be nervous or uncomfortable around one another. It seems we may have circled back to where we started with this conversation, but let's at least agree that we both should learn to bend a bit. How's that sound? All right. Let's start from the beginning, then. Would you like to train with me today, Your Highness? Of course, Ash. Come at me with everything you've got. Huh. Okay. Sylvain. Interesting. Uh, your highness? Why are you in my room? Sorry, I need to hide. In here. Just for a while. I'll have you know this is all your fault. Hide? From who? It's some... Um, a girl. From the academy. I'm sorry. It's a what? This is all because of your insistence that I go and ask a girl out. You didn't give her a dagger, did you? Is that why you're hiding? Does she have a dagger, Dimitri? <laughs> Look, you kept true to your promise to improve your behavior. So I felt it was only right to make good on my side of the bargain, too. You invited a girl to dinner, and now she's chasing you around. What's the big deal? Unless... Did you use one of my pickup lines? Those words are dangerous in the wrong hands. <laughs> With me, people know a line's a line and I'm joking. But you, nobody's ever accused you of being funny. I clearly underestimated the difficulty of the task. <laughs> what do I do now? Relax, your highness. Relax. I'll sort this whole thing out real easy. All we have to do is figure out how to make this girl lose interest in you. And making girls lose interest is what I'm best at. You just wait right there, and I'll fix everything. It was my naivete that brought this about. I cannot place this immense burden on your shoulders. This is no job for an amateur. You need a professional's help. Trying to do everything yourself has never served you so well, so just leave this to the master. Even the dagger incident could have been avoided if you had just talked with me beforehand. There wasn't time for consultation. I only learned she was leaving on the day of her departure. Whatever you say. The point is, you need to learn to rely on me for these types of things in the future. For now, I got this. And if I ever need help with... something you know how to help with, then maybe you can do the same for me. Sylvain. Very well. When that time comes, I promise to help you as best I can. The Knight of Fargus never goes back on his word. Isn't that right? You're a good man, Sylvain. I'm sorry to do this to you. Best of luck. Please, your highness. I've spent years honing my skills for just this situation. Watch and learn. That was certainly interesting. to talk much, huh, to do. I am not skilled in conversation. Neither am I. Any particular reason? Reason? I am only here at the monastery because this is where His Highness wishes me to be. Many here are frightened of me. Disgusted by me. Well, you are kind of big and tall and you swing an axe around like it's a toy, so... I grow weary of it. That makes sense. A lot of people hate Dusker. They think all kinds of terrible things. Some of them even think you kidnap and eat people. 
We sound like true monsters. Why are you smiling? Shouldn't it make you angry? I suppose. If those people would just talk to you, I'm sure they'd change their minds. I'll admit that when I first got here, I found you kind of intimidating. Because he's tall and good with an axe. I didn't know if it was okay to talk to you. I hesitated. But like I said before, I just wanted to get to know you. And now that I have, I'm not scared at all. I am not very good at interesting conversation. We can work on that. Tell me about Dusker. What was your hometown like? Calm. More forested than Fargus. Each town had a specialty. Smithing. Fishing. You would be better off reading about it in a book. Okay, maybe you're right. But answer me one thing. You're a great cook and you learned at home. Why don't you make more Dusker-style food? As we have established, people hate Dusker. Food by itself may be harmless, but it is better not to sow seeds of discontent. I'd try it. Ah. But the cuisine of Dusker is delicious. I'd really like to try more of it. I am pleased to hear you say so. That was a nice conversation. Sylvain. Okay, that ought to be interesting. To do, hey. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope I'm not bothering you. Looks like you're pretty deep in thought. Does it? I just wanted to stop by and ask. It was your turn to cook last night, yeah? Uh, yes. Well, it was great. I was wondering if you could give me some tips. You know, teach me how to cook. I hear a girl loves a man who can cook. It figures to go to that. Although it is true from what I understand. Sylvain. Yeah? You are from Fargus. You must understand how it appears for you to spend time with one from Dusker. To be near me is to invite tedious misunderstanding. Oh please. I don't care who misunderstands what about me. I talk to who I want. Besides, I believe the Dusker people are innocent. You do? Fargus and Dusker have been friendly since... heck, forever. So why would our old friends from Dusker just up and assassinate our king? It doesn't make sense. Sure, there are probably folks from Dusker who don't like Fargus. But do I think there's enough of them to mount an attack and slaughter the king and his whole company of elite guards? Not it a chance. It is difficult to believe considering the discrepancy in skill and number. Right? At most, I can see a misguided group of people from Dusker conspiring with someone else who had plans to dethrone the king. Maybe they were even lured into participating and used as scapegoats. Regardless, it doesn't concern you or the rest of your people. A person can't be judged by the worst of their kind. Or where would any of us be? Well said. Besides, people like to talk about me anyway, so let them talk. Okay, you're making a weird face. What did I say? I have misjudged you. I was under the impression you only cared about women. <laughs> well, I'm glad I've cleared up that misunderstanding. But really, there's no way I'm the only person who figured all that out. You know, Sylvain, you're growing on me. You might be a skirt chaser, but you're at least an alright guy. There must be people who think like me in Ferdiad including His Highness. Agreed. But whatever the truth, we are still perceived as traitorous assassins. Once a misunderstanding takes hold, it isn't easy to clear the air. Not without solid evidence of the truth. But even if we found evidence that your people are innocent, those negative sentiments wouldn't disappear overnight. The only thing that can change that is time and effort. Depressing, isn't it? Time and effort. Yes. I believe you're right. Man, that got serious. Shouldn't we lighten things up with a nice cooking lesson? Very well. Why is it every support conversation with Sylvain either makes him out to be kind of a prick or actually a nice guy? That is weird. Mercedes. Dear Goddess, please protect us. Mercedes. Oh, 
know what to do. Was there something you needed? His Highness sent me to collect you. I see. I'll be with you in just a moment. I'm almost finished here. You were yeah. praying. I was. Praying for everyone's safety. And praying for good desserts tonight. And that my next exam goes well. The Fodlan Goddess will accept prayers of any sort. <laughs> it's true. I've thought the same thing myself. That reminds me to do. Weren't you born in Dusker? Yes. Do the people of Dusker pray to the Goddess too? Dusker had a very different view of religion. Oh? In Dusker there were many gods. The sky had a god. The earth had a god. Huh. Dusker's religion was a pagan one. Ferdiad seems to be a... Or, no, excuse me, not Ferdiad. Fargus seems to be of a monotheist religion. We made offerings to the war god for victory in battle. Held feasts for the sea god to calm the waves. So your people prayed to different gods depending on what they needed? Correct. Your beliefs sound so different from ours. Tell me more. Why? Dusker is a ruin. Dusker may be gone, but you're still here. Would you tell me more about it the next time we meet? <sighs> if you insist. Really? That would be great. I'm looking forward to hearing more soon. Dusker is gone. But I'm still here. Mercedes never change. Oh god, another one with Felix. Oh, no, it just looked like it was. Oh, there's a paralogue to deepen that, okay. That's interesting. Wow, Ash, training again? You're taking this whole night thing pretty seriously. It's just my daily training. Maybe you could stand to be a little more eager yourself? If I want to be a great knight, I've got no choice but to put the effort in. No choice? I think you're making life too difficult. Knights don't have to be perfect. All I'm saying is, I've seen some pretty sloppy knights out there. That's not going to be me. I'm going to be a proud knight, virtuous and gallant. Virtuous and gallant? Are you kidding me? If you just ride around being virtuous, people will get fed up. They'll boot you out of town. <laughs> <laughs> Probably would. It's like, oh, it's Mr. Hellier than now. It's never wrong to have virtue. Not even if it means being made an outcast. Interesting idea. You think very highly of this whole virtue thing. Say, have there been any knights who became great just by thinking highly of themselves? Think on this. Knights are supposed to protect people and earn their admiration. Isn't that right? Well, yes. So what are you saying I should do? Seize people's hearts! What do you mean? Just be a good person. You want people to love you? Offer them something they haven't got. Guess what that is? It's you, Ash. They don't have you. Get out there, buddy. Be valiant. Help people. Here, I'll show you how it works. Whoa, the animation just... Blinked out uh, there for Sylvain, a second. Don't go bothering people. Hey there, cutie. You seem to have lots of bags there. They must be heavy. My name's Sylvain. Let me help you out. Are these going in the warehouse? Helping out those in need. I guess that's a good start. He's a flirt. But he's still helping a maiden with her bags, so that's... No thanks necessary. It's been enough just to be able to talk to you. Well, if you insist. How about we go get some tea? Of it must course. be fate that we met like this. I'd like to get to know you. Great knight, huh? More like a great philanderer. <laughs> Seems like all he wants to do is flirt with women. No, I can't allow this. I have to stop him. <laughs> okay, that's certainly interesting. Uh... You know, it'll take some time to deepen that bond. Mercedes, I swear, the whole cathedral glows with heavenly light when you're around. Hello, 
Hello, Sylvain. What a treat to see you here. I thought you preferred places with more ladies around. I'm here because you're here. And I don't care about other girls. Oh, come now. I'm sure you use that line all the time. Actually, I've only said it to girls who thought I was lying about being faith. You know what? There's no reason to get into all that. The truth is, I would really like to spend some time with you. What do you say to that? Well, if you were really interested in me, I would want you to get to know me better. I agree. I've been such an idiot in the past, always angling for the seduction. I've forgotten how to just talk to someone. You act like you're full of regret, but I know you don't really mean it. Still, I'm glad to hear you say that at least. I told you such a boring story the last time we spoke. I didn't think it was boring. I thought it was depressing. I was worried you might think I was a dull person. Dull? No. I was worried that I'd made you remember unhappy times. It's horrible what you had to go through. It's not like anyone chooses to be born with a crest. She has a crest! Right. We can't choose our bloodline. You've got a crest too, haven't you, Sylvain? Oh, they, they're talking What's about the crest. What's your experience been like? Are you asking how being born with a crest affected me? Yes. I know there was that business with your brother, Miklon, but I'm sure you don't want to talk about all that. It's not a very happy story. Please don't feel the need to hold back on my account. I'm here if you need someone to share in your pain. Would you want to know more about me, even if I didn't have a crest? or come from a noble family? This has nothing to do with your crest or family. I'm just asking as your friend. How should I put this? When I look at you, I don't see a crest. I want to see the real you. You... you do? Here's the short version. I hate crests. Even though having one is supposed to be such a great blessing, mine has ruined everything. Miklon was heir to our house. Then I was born, and I became the heir because I had a crest. That made my older brother jealous enough to want to kill me. And every woman in Fothen wants to have my little crest baby, so they can join the nobility. Yeah, there you go. That's what it's like to have a crest. I don't even know what to say to that. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to dredge up such awful things. No, I... I should keep my temper better. I don't want you to see me act that way. Don't say that. I'm glad we were able to talk. I feel like I'm finally seeing the real you. Oh, Sylvain. Will you save me from the curse of having a crest? Of course. I think I love you. And I mean that. With all my heart. I love you, Mercedes. Let's get married and have crest babies. Sure, sure. Was that a joke? I genuinely think he cares about Mercedes. Another one with a net. Okay, Mercy. This time we're gonna be really good and get the supplies with no detours. You're so good at sticking to a plan. I should leave the shopping to you. I'll stay out of your way and just browse. Hey, that's not fair. I want to browse too. Looks like you girls are having a good time. We have a thief. Uh, Annie? Is this a friend of yours? I've never seen this person before. I'm sorry to be rude, but we're kind of busy. Wait a minute. I think you're shopping with money you stole. But no need to worry your pretty little heads. I'm just gonna have to take it back for us common folk. Step back, Mercy. This could get dangerous. Listen here, you. There's no way you can win against me. I don't want to fight you, but I will if I have to. So just back away. You think you can talk to me that way? I'm gonna... Oh, the knights are coming. What? Annie, run! This is far enough. We should be safe. I hope so. But what were you thinking? That sort of behavior isn't like you at all. I just... I thought you were in danger, Mercy. You're actually blaming me for this? 
It's like I don't even know you anymore. Mercy! I was just trying to protect you. Well, that's... Mercedes, you're not stupid. Hello, Ingrid. Can I have just a teeny tiny moment of your time? Sure. I can spare a moment or two. I was wondering, do you have any interest in fashion and makeup and stuff like that? I haven't the time to bother with such frivolities. As long as basic hygiene is being met, then I'm happy. Oh, but you're missing out on something so fun. I mean, it's not like you need it, of course. You've got beautiful bone structure, lovely hair, long legs, but aren't you interested in trying something new? Okay. Um, well, thank you. I suppose I do find it all somewhat intriguing. But my time is precious to me, and my focus is on knighthood. Taking time to paint my face simply isn't a top priority. Sure, but imagine if you could combine the two and become the most fabulous knight ever. Oh okay, my god. maybe I'm taking it too far. I know knights don't necessarily need a ton of makeup or things like that for the job. I'm just saying, I really think you'd enjoy it if you opened your mind to it. All I'm talking about is a light touch. I can see it now. Your gorgeous face done up with a delicate application of makeup. The fabulous knight who everyone looks up to and wants to be. Um, well, maybe? I guess. That does sound mostly harmless. Hooray! Okay, we don't have a moment to lose. Here, take this makeup kit, play around with the colors, and see what speaks to you. Now, wait just a... I actually got that little kit as a gift the other day, and I wasn't sure what to do with it because I already have that one. It's a limited palette, but I think it fits the look you're going for perfectly. I actually never agreed to start putting that stuff on my face, Annette. What? Oh. Well then, I guess this whole kit will have to go to waste. I'll just throw it away like the garbage it is. You're throwing it away? I can't just stand by and let something go to waste. <sighs> okay. Alright. Thank you. We can do this. Way to guilt <laughs> trip her. Oh, and I'm happy to help you learn to apply it too. Come on, let's go to my room. I have some brush techniques to show you before you get started. Now, don't get carried away. Ugh. She played me like a fiddle. That she did. Okay, and now we have Sylvain in a net. Sylvain, good timing. There's something I want to say to you. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did I do something wrong? Did you spot me sneaking back in this morning? Or is it about that girl who got mad I kissed her sister goodnight? I can explain either way. No, I'm not here to get after you about those things. Surely other people have that covered. <laughs> what I really want to talk about is your behavior during our training sessions. When we're sparring, you're always passing on great opportunities to get the edge on me. It's almost as though you're going out of your way to make me think you're incapable. Nah, I just like giving other people the spotlight. Uh-huh. It's not that you took something I said to heart. About how you don't have to work hard to be good at stuff and how that isn't fair. I did take those things to heart. We're friends, right? I'd be sad if you started to hate me. There's just one thing I want you to remember. Guys like me, who hate hard work and sort of get by on our wits, it all falls apart eventually. I'm smart enough to know that. So, I respect people like you. I mean it. Oh, is that sincerity? It's kind of creeping me out. It's just so unlike you. Huh? When you say nice things like that, I can't take joy in beating you. I want to beat you when you're at your best. That's why it bothers me so much when you don't try your hardest against me. Let me put this a different way. I've always been treated like I'm special, and I'm not. At least, I don't think I am. I'm just tired of people thinking they know what I can and can't do. When everybody expects something of you, or envies you, it's kind of suffocating. I'd rather people think I'm dumb. Well, I mean, 
I can still be pretty dumb. <laughs> I have to admit, I have a hard time understanding where you're coming from. Just know that I want you to keep being great at everything without trying. Mm. If you stop being that way, I won't have any competition. <laughs> competition, huh? I like the sound of that. Where the heck were you when I was growing up? If I had someone like you back then, I think I may have turned out different. And better, I mean. Anyway, I'd love to chat more with you. Would you like to grab some tea with me, or...? Oh, sure thing. The very next moment I'm free. For now, I need to get to my magic training. Oh, I see. Some other time, then. I look forward to it, Annette. Well, that was nice. Okay. I need to get people's inspiration up. This is my absolute favorite. How did you know, Professor? Yeah, you just get it, Professor. This is my favorite. It is not guaranteed to be good, even if everyone sings earnestly. It is not easy after all. Am I doing all right? I hope I'm not too off. It was four. Oh, you can't. If I take as you were that I don't care about any of this. Of the four, it was. Oh, you, if I as you were that want. Hey now. If I, as you were saying, that room won't pay now. Hey, Professor, you're good looking, you know that? At the uh, same thanks. time, you look like someone who was born to fight. I bet we'd get along. I'm also good looking and born to fight. <laughs> Need any help with your class? Feel free to call on me when a fight's brewing. Thunderbrand and I will be there when you need us. Cool. Manuela's here. I know you 
figure medicine, but mass Faculty training in the sword, flight, and magic. Sure, sword. And that's all I have time for. Now it's time for Zimishan. Uh. I can do intermediate, such as mercenary. And thief. A brigand, which is interesting. Mercedes wanted to be a bishop. I think that's an advanced. Swords Master, oh my god, Swords Master Mercedes looks precious. Of course, Mercedes in general looks precious. Yes, you need to have faith of A or higher. No, that was flying one to be a bishop. Currently a swords master. Well, I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. And join me next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses as I partake in this month's mission. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.